You may remember the oatmeal that we packaged up the other day. It's a good companion meal to go in your bug out bag with say your mountain house or anything else you may have in there. That's a cheap, lightweight companion to be able to make for a breakfast versus like a dinner like most of your other meals are going to be. As you can see, I've got plenty of wood processed there, so we should be definitely good to go on that for a while. I've got uh, some of that processed wood in here. Now I do have uh, a couple of these that's been feather stick just a little bit. This one and this one here has been feather stick. Anyway, let's go ahead and put up our little windscreen here. This is actually the first that I've used this windscreen, to be honest. Haven't needed to use it. And probably don't right now, but there is a little bit of a breeze. So, all right, we got our screen in place. I do have a Vaseline coated uh, cotton ball down in there to help us light it and uh, there was a uh, there was a truck that went by so I kind of cut the video because it's loud and obnoxious and dudes I got a pickup truck and I am not joking when I say that he's got stacks on it like a semi and they're either like 680 or in, possibly even 8 inch stacks on it straight stacks going straight up in the bed of the truck and I'm telling you it is loud and, uh, well, I kind of think it's goofy, but that's me. To each their own, you know. So, okay, got my uh, Maritac Peanut XL lighter here. Gonna light the cotton. Whoa! That kind of took off a little quick, I would say. Get our wood started there. Once this stove takes off and that air starts flowing up uh, through the outer housing. Holy cow. Holy cow. Go ahead and put that on. I'm getting a little wood over here. That's probably more than what we'll even need to to make our oats meal. I just wanted to make sure it started getting going good. We'll put a couple pieces of that in there. Eh. We'll go with that. We'll go ahead and grab our mess kit here. Gonna make it in uh, in this right here. I've got two cups of water right there. Oops. Pour our water. Right there. Go ahead and put it on top. Grab me a drink of tea. And as you can see, that stove is rocking. There's no two ways about it. That stove is rocking, and it will stop smoking here in a bit. Let it. <laughs> Could take that off and let it get that gasification going good. But man, I am telling you. There you go. There's the gasification. You should be able to see it really well now. So, 
You don't have to go out and buy the expensive solo stove, folks. You don't have to. Under 20 bucks. Oh, hoo hoo. I know, it's, it's a goopy name. They made the, uh, the windshield here, and then uh, they make the stove. And they're really cheap. They're cheap enough you can buy more than one, you know, because, you know, they aren't made out of titanium or nothing like that, so wouldn't be wrong nothing wrong with having backups of it but um, why go out and spend all that money for a solo stove when you could get several of these for the same amount of money and be good to go and they work incredibly well you're gonna see that here like I said I've got our oats here and got our sugar and cinnamon in the other pack let me go ahead while that Hard at it. Grab my spoon out. That way we can go spooning. But I see the water already bubbling up in the bottom of the pan there. be calming down a little bit absolutely calming down a little bit we don't really need it to be too crazy I guess I could probably throw in a few more pieces but we don't need it to be too crazy because but you see how it's still that gasification is really really kicking piece of wood and shove that down in there like that see how that gasification is still going on it's really burning that wood uh, efficiently when it's doing that so go ahead and throw that one in there Smoke's picking back up because of the woods getting lit. It's not quite lit yet. I could take that off like I just did, let the air get to it better. Or, you know, the air flow better, I should say. And you see it, uh, it'll start the gasification. That's why I pulled that off. I went ahead and pulled that off. Let that get heated up. We'll, uh, we'll throw another, another piece in there. Wanted to kick it in. Ah, there's one heck of a hot flame coming out of the top of that, though, I'm telling you. That stove is just absolutely incredible. Go ahead and let it just get boiling. Open up our package of uh, oatmeal here. Pull out our baggie of sugar and cinnamon. And in case anybody wonders, because somebody asked about that, and it's fine. If you want to mix it, that's fine. I don't mix it, and the reason why 
is because maybe somebody else winds up eating this and what if they uh, don't like as much sugar or what if they can't even have sugar you know if they're diabetic or something like that and I'm talking you know type 1 or something then you know they may not want all that sugar in there because I like a lot of sugar and a lot of cinnamon in there so that is why I do it separate just in case I have to give this to somebody else Okay, we got a start of a boil going on there. I'm gonna go ahead and dump these in. It's just oats, so not a big deal. Go ahead and get those dumped in and started. Now these aren't quick oats or anything like that. These are just regular old fashioned oats. And so I'll have to watch and make sure it doesn't try to foam up because if it does, I'll have to pull it off the heat. Got to love the handy dandy little spoon that comes with the uh, mess kit that I picked out. It's not a good mess kit. It's just a really ultra cheap mess kit that we got on eBay eons ago. Maybe, I don't know. One of the first things we bought after we moved into our uh, first apartment here in Highland. Ah! That thing does shoot a flame up. So, be forewarned, it does do that. Had to pull it off the heat so it doesn't foam over. May have to do that several times. That is one heck of a hot flame, I will tell you that. As long as it doesn't foam over, it uh, cook the oats even faster. But, as I figured I would probably have to fight the foam, we'll see. I thought it was going to get me there for a moment. That stove is just insane, isn't it? Again, less than 20 bucks. And I'm, it's not that I'm trying to push a stove on you or anything like that. I'm not trying to get you to go out and buy anything expensive or anything like that. Nope, nope. But if, if you need something, if you need something like this, less than 20 bucks, you, you just can't, you can't beat that. That is one incredible little stove there. Our oats is getting there in a hurry, yo. I probably put a little too much wood in that, but I just used up what that little bit of wood that I had setting over there. That's it. I didn't put any other wood in than that. So it does a lot on an incredibly small amount of wood. It does a really good, good job. And if you, you know, if you're making eggs or something and you can't have such a crazy flame, just wait until it dies down. Make your coffee or whatever first that you're gonna need boiled water for and stuff. And let it die down and just put just a little bit in it. Maybe I'll do a video of cooking eggs on this thing or something and I'll show you. I'll make some coffee and then I'll make some eggs. Oops, sticking in the bottom a little bit. I can feel it. These are ultra, ultra cheap pans. Again, it was just something cheap off of eBay just so that we could get something and we never did get anything you know improved but for if, if I have to bug out 
things are in real bad shape, you know, and I've got somewhere I'm going if I have to bug out, so I, it's not like I'm going to need this for a super long time if I, if I do need to bug out, but the point is, uh, it will definitely serve my purpose and work for me. So let me pull that off the heat for a moment and set that down here. I'm gonna go ahead and get this sugar and cinnamon added here. And then we'll probably put it back on there just for a little bit. diabetes okay put it back on our heat while we stir that up a little bit mm. I don't want to get popped with hot oatmeal that's what it feels like it's gonna do to me good it looks good and I bet it's gonna taste good I do wish I had like some dehydrated apples or something like that to put in it that would be super super sweet there you go ladies and gentlemen take it off of there I'm telling you, that stove is absolutely incredible. So, I just wanted to show you that. Wanted to show a good, legitimate uh, video of the stove because when I sh showed it to you the first time, I just put sticks in there. It wasn't processed wood or anything like that. And bark will absolutely choke out a piece of wood from burning and it does nothing but produce ash there's no heat energy there's you know bark there's nothing good about bark and when you go just putting sticks and stuff like that in there that's not processed it can't really catch good fire around the wood because the bark is choking it off so that's why that first video was not impressive with this i wanted to redeem it and show you what it was like whenever you uh, actually put processed wood in there I wanted to show you how easy it is to process up that process up that wood like that and uh, you see there is it's easy peasy there's nothing to it the stove works tremendously well I cannot recommend it enough I'll leave a link to the stove and the uh, the windshield I'll leave a link to that Corona razor tooth saw as well because those are still available I don't have a link for the mess kit it's just a cheap piece of crap uh, <laughs> that is what it is I'm not leaving links because I want to make money off of people I'm leaving links because these are same with the corona razor tooth saw it's a really really cheap solution that as you see does a really really good job all right I hope you have a great and blessed day Shalom